Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're taking a look at the AR101 audio retriever from Fostex. Featuring two microphones, two stereo inputs, monitor outputs, an iOS dock, USB connection, and more, the AR101 is a super portable way to bring stereo sound to your iOS device, DSLR, computer, or other recording device. Now, in a previous video, we looked at the AR4i from Fostex, which is similar, but the AR101 is a more advanced and versatile version of that original concept. The main body of the AR101 is solidly built, but compact and light, weighing only 2.1 ounces. In addition to the main body and the detachable mics, it includes this plastic holder for your phone and a metal grip that screws into the bottom of the holder. The grip also has a quarter 20 thread at the bottom for stand mounting. The holder has an adjustable clamp that grips the phone and stays in place when you tighten the screw on the side. The holder can even accommodate a jacketed phone. The joint that connects the main chassis to the holder also smartly doubles as a shoe mount if you want to use the AR101 with a DSLR. The top of the chassis is also smartly designed to accommodate cold shoe mounts for additional accessories. Of course, your iPhone or iPad does have a built-in microphone, but it's an omnidirectional mic which picks up sound from all directions equally. The mics on the AR101 are directional, rejecting sound from behind and from the sides of the capsules to a certain degree, and allowing you to better focus your audio capture where you want it. In addition, unlike the single mono mic on the iPhone or iPad, the two condenser microphones on the AR101 allow you to record stereo sound. Also, because the detachable mics pivot, you can easily adjust the width of the stereo image. Wider if you're outside shooting nature scenes, perhaps, or more toward the middle, maybe, for an acoustic instrument performance, lecture, or an interview. For interviews, you can actually turn one mic toward your on-camera subject and the other mic toward yourself. The mics also come with foam windscreens to reduce wind and breath noise. The AR101 connects to your iPhone 4, 4S, 4th generation iPod Touch, and 3rd generation iPad and the iPad 2 via the mini USB to 30 pin dock cable. You can also use the AR101 with iPhone 5 models, but you'll need the Apple Lightning to 30 pin adapter, which you can purchase separately. The AR101 is powered by your phone via the dock to mini USB cable, which is included. Alternately, you can pick up a mini USB power adapter for it and charge your phone at the same time via the through power port. Physical controls on the AR101 are pretty minimal. One indenting knob is all you get, but it's enough to take care of the critical stuff, and there's a free app for iOS that gives you more advanced control. If you're not using the app, basically there are two modes, Standby 1 and Standby 2. In Standby 1, the knob only controls two settings, the volume coming from the headphone jack on the side, and an input level control that sets the levels for both inputs simultaneously. A quick press on the knob pages between the two controls. For more additional features, you'll press and hold the knob for 15 seconds to get to standby 2 mode. In this mode, you can set the levels for input 1 and input 2 independently and adjust their individual panning positions in the stereo mix. As I said, for more advanced controls, you can use the app. Here, in addition to levels, you can adjust the limiter as well as the cutoff frequency for the low cut filter and adjust the output level of the stereo out. To give you an idea of how the mics on the AR101 sound in comparison to the built-in mic on the iPhone 4, we're shooting this demo on the 4 and you're listening to its built-in mic, but I'm going to switch to the AR101 right now. Okay, I'm back and now you're listening to me being mic'd from the AR101's condenser microphones. In terms of fidelity, it is an improvement, but as you can hear, that fidelity comes at the expense of a higher noise floor courtesy of the rather noisy mic preamps on the AR101, so there is a definite trade-off. To give you another perspective and a better idea of the AR101's stereo capabilities, let's take it over to the store and shoot some more video and audio on the iPhone. <laughs> The AR4i doesn't have a headphone jack for monitoring, but not only does the AR101 have one, it also has a stereo out. 
that allows you to send audio from it to other devices, like a DSLR camera. Unlike the camera's omnidirectional mono mic, the Air 101's two condenser mics deliver directional stereo sound. Now, the main drawback to using the AR-101 with your DSLR rig is that you'll have to supply it with power. But if you have access to an outlet, you can do that with a simple USB wall charger. If there's no outlet, you could use a USB battery pack. Okay, now we're shooting with a Canon 5D Mark III, and you're hearing me being recorded to the camera's audio tracks with external microphones using the AR-101. I removed the AR-101's mics and connected a Sennheiser ME66, which you're hearing in the right channel, and a Samson Airline wireless lav mic, which you're hearing on the left side. In an interview situation, you might want to use two lavs. At any rate, if you pan the inputs hard left and hard right respectively, you'll have a discrete recording from each mic on each of your camera's audio tracks, which is what you're hearing right now. Now for this example, I'm playing both of them for you, but normally you choose the better sounding track and mute the other one in post. In addition, the AR-101 supplies 2.5 volts of plug-in power for mics that require it. Keep in mind, though, that the AR-101 does not supply 48 volts phantom power. So you're going to need to use mics that operate on plug-in power or batteries if you want to plug directly into the AR-101. You could also plug in line-level signals, but obviously you'll have to lower the input levels. At a live music gig, you could even take a line-level feed from the board and a feed from a shotgun mic for crowd sounds and hard pan them for two separate mono recordings. Each of the two inputs can accommodate a stereo signal, meaning you can actually feed the AR-101 four channels of input, although it only outputs two channels to your recording device. In the intro, I mentioned that the AR-101 can also be used as a USB audio interface for a Mac or PC. We tried it out with a MacBook Pro and it worked. In addition, the fact that it has a headphone jack means you can monitor your input without latency. In addition to input, you can also monitor playback from the host computer. That means you can play or sing along with your music tracks and record overdubs with no monitoring latency to mess up your timing, and the balance of the input and the audio from your computer can be adjusted within the app to give you a monitor mix that you're comfortable with. So to sum it up, while I wasn't thrilled with the rather noisy preamps, the Fostex AR-101 is an inexpensive and versatile piece of equipment that allows you to bring directional stereo sound to your iOS device, DSLR, computer, or other recording devices. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.